What's good guys, CJ here and welcome back to Stallcraft. In today's video, I want to talk about ideas that can improve the game. I want to clarify the ideas we're going to talk about today are random ideas that were just talked about by my community and myself. They are not official and if you guys happen to have a great idea or just any idea, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. If enough people drop ideas that are not in this video, I'll make a part two, maybe even part three. Let's see how many ideas we can drop out there in form of videos that Expo might take a look at. But let's hop right onto the video. The first idea I wanna talk about is adding containers to the quick wheel. Very much like a gun. You have guns in your hot wheel. Why can't you add your containers? It's one of the most vital aspects of the game. And while yes, it doesn't take a lot of time to go into your inventory and click your backpack, you still gotta go into your inventory. I feel that containers should be added to the hot wheel. Will they be used? I don't know, but I think it would make a very nice quality of life change for a lot of players out there. Another thing regarding the hot wheel is the ability to add plates to it. They can be used based on the percentage, on the rarity, on the tier, but let's say you have black plates put on in your Hot Wheel, you will use the black plates in your inventory by their respective rarity or percentage. So I feel that that could be put quite easily and going through your inventory is quite annoying if you're in the middle of a gunfight. I feel like this could speed up gunfights, which is very, very important. Talking about speeding up gunfights, I feel that there should be an auto buy tray package on death. You're fighting, you get killed, you respawn at your base and you can have selected auto buy on one specific tray pack or two and it'll instantly buy it for you as soon as you respawn, if you have the money of course. Now this is extremely, extremely good for clan wars. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get things in clan wars going on when you die buying all your little things. So having auto buy trade packages would be pretty dope we usually buy the same things anyway when we're going out so let us have the good old auto buy option in there next thing i feel that a lot of people complain about but it's as simple as turning it on or off and that is proximity chat let me cuss someone out when they kill me while i'm doing a flesh den let me tell them a couple kind words real swift like it could make the game fun it could make for positive or negative interaction for funny moments for rage moments it could give players more interaction i feel that the ability to turn proximity chat on and off is amazing it can start off by default and you would have to choose to turn it on i don't see why this is a problem it could have a push to talk feature like the regular chat has and it would just be really good for the game in my personal opinion apart from that i feel that loadouts for our containers would be quite good a lot of people take a while to get their second containers and they're in that inventory with 35 artifacts swapping their artifacts swapping their artifacts in the middle of battle if they're going into a specific zone i feel that loadouts in your container where all you got to do is click one two three or four while you're in the container to instantly swap the artifacts to the preset loadout if you'll have the artifacts in your inventory would be pretty damn fun. Once again, speeding up combat, which is highly, highly important. The next thing is the ability to ping locations. Even if you don't mark an active target, it is very annoying to be like, yo, Southeast 312 up on the hill and i can't mark the dude because he's out of range and people have to like kind of guess or estimate or kind of aim in the general direction let me put down a waypoint if i'm looking at a hill and i double click or something i can put a waypoint in that direction even if it's on the ground i think that would make the game very important when it comes to comms it would make comms easier it would make comms more direct it would make fighting easier Sometimes you're not able to ping the enemy because they're going fast as hell, there's trees in the way, or they're simply too far. This would definitely change that. The next thing is the ability to declare war or alliances with sub-factions. For example, if my clan feels like declaring war 
with another freedom clan, Dewa, we would have the ability to do so. And in the open world, it would show us where the enemy is at. It would mark them as red, or at least when we run into them, they would be red. I feel that the ability to declare war would be very fun for the game, as it would allow factions to fight each other if they happen to have beef or simply want to fight. Alliances is the same. If two sub-factions feel like making an alliance, let's say, for example, everybody's favorite clan Nisa and everybody's most hated clan Dewa, they want to make an alliance, boom, they can make an alliance. And now on the map, you would see the opposite faction members in a pink color instead of a green color. I'm not saying this would particularly work right now because our player base is about four and a half people, but in the future, if Stalkrafts ever gets bigger, I feel that sub-faction war and alliances would be kind of interesting to see in the game. And now we talk about the number one thing that I feel would improve Stalkraft and save the game. Full on save the game. Dungeons. And I'm not talking about end game dungeons only. I'm not talking about dungeons where you need to have full red gear, full red artifacts. No, I'm talking about a ton of dungeons they can get brought from the story from the special events these nice little missions and dungeons and get put in multiple difficulties so even players in places like cordon players in the bar can partake on these dungeons and daily grind materials money anything dungeons are a must in stalkraft right now and there are tons of ways to implement dungeons there are so many missions like so many missions in the story that are good so many side quests that could be reused as missions and improved upon by adding more ai or making the ai stronger the event the winter event had one of the best dungeons that i've seen in the game so far things like that would be game changing giving replayability to the game and giving players something to do apart than farming the same places for the same materials over and over again i know this is an mmo but farming the same materials over and over again with no other way to entertain yourself is not how most mmos are out i'm just pointing that out the next thing they gotta do is improve the dog shit Daily login rewards. I'm talking about dog shit. I'm talking about I can wipe my ass with these login rewards. What the hell is this expo? Like, it's ridiculous. Why am I getting some shitty green meds for my daily login, bro? You have players literally, literally dying because they can't get serum. You have players dying because they can't get spare parts. You have players quitting because they don't get money. And you decide to give some dog shit rewards for logging into your amazing game. Y'all really can give us serum on the seventh day login. Y'all can give us some spare parts on the day four login. I think that would be nice because right now I am dead serious. If it wasn't for the little bonuses that you get for having premium, the daily bonuses are straight up ass juice. They are horrendous and you guys would not lose anything for giving three freaking serum on your seven day login and on the fourth day login giving some spare parts i think that would be quite nice next thing is attachments bro we've been hearing about the attachment rebalance for about five months are y'all doing some rocket science over there with some grips are y'all trying to test the freaking quantum theory with a site or something like what is going on that is making it so difficult for y'all to implement some attachments that y'all have had in the game since 1924. I don't understand. We don't have nothing to grind for. They have hand grips, lasers. They have a bunch of things. All they got to do is add them to the game in many different ways. Talking about many different things that they could add to the game. What about grindable cosmetic outfits? Layers to guns. Things like we get in the armor crates, the little skins that we can put in our guns the little attachments, all of that. Why is that not grindable in the game? Why isn't there a chance for me to get a little keychain with a little snork head while I kill snorks in the open world? Same with fleshes, same with boars, simple things like that. Why isn't there a chance for me to get a little keychain 
with a Lamansk boss if I kill a Lamansk boss and randomly get the drop. It's just a keychain. It's the most basic form of entertainment they could possibly give us. They could put a low percent chance, but it's there. It's in the game. It would be the most basic things for them to add some grindable cosmetics into the game. I know they have some things already, like, you know, paints and things like that, some keychains, but I feel like some harder end game, late mid game grindable items would be really good. Like if you were in Yanob and you kill Snorks in Yanob, you can get a little Snork head that's golden because you got it in Yanob, but the one in Red Forest could be silver. Ooh, Advanced Technology Expo, this might break the bank. Now, the next thing is improvements to the market. Allow us to sell and trade event items like the armor or guns or attachments to incentivize the market and give more options to progression. Right now, the market in StarCraft has two pages at most of valuable content and the rest is dog shit. The rest of the entire market is dog shit. There is no incentive because nobody can post anything. Every time there's a rare artifact, they'll sell it on the Discord to some random dude, and that's about it. There is nothing else that really gets put in there apart from like some mid-tier artifacts, and apart from that, it's dead. There's no weapons, there's no attachments, there's no armors, there's nothing, but we have the categories in there since forever. Nobody wants them crusty-ass blueprint weapons, which we'll get to that in a little bit more. The next thing that I want to see is improvements to the enemies in the map and i'm not talking about some stupid ass ai upgrade that they've been trying to do since forever i'm talking about increasing the variety of monsters we just had an event the crow event that featured a crap ton of bosses that were reskinned from the already existing bosses in the game you had the acid snork you had boars with radiation you had many different things that could be added to the game, so why not add world bosses in every map that give you times 20 of the material from the location and maybe one of the, a chance at one of those keychains that I said earlier. They could add a location just like Lamask in the forest where the snork boss spawns. And then if you want to go fight the pig boss, the boar boss, you can go to Red Forest or you can go to the swamps. Every area could have one of the many already existing types of enemies in the game, just a little bit reskin and with a little bit more chance to give materials. That is all. Little world bosses across the map. They don't got to be as hard as Lamans, just a little bit harder. They already have some bosses in some camps where you'll go into it and they'll have like a bandit or just a soldier with a skull over their head. That is the boss of that little location. They got to do that more. The next thing is improving dead time and session battle rewards. Dead time needs to be taken out of the game and replaced with the crow arena. But session battle rewards and dead time rewards in itself need to be improved. We need serum. We need spare parts. Crates with RU items. Crates with event items. Literally, there is no reason to play any competitive PvP game mode at all in this game. They need to give us a reason to want to play these game modes a lot more. Session battles are fun when you have enough people, but once you start seeing the rewards, it gets tiresome. If you know that you're getting some actual goodies, guaranteed good goodies, every 10 wins you get five spare parts or something, a lot of people would partake in the PvP in this game. The only PvP right now that is somewhat worth it is Clan Wars, but based on the dog shit mode and how they dropped Clan Wars, there's only two, three clans that can even get enough wins to get Serum every week. And that is a problem. Going back to the market not having anything, we need more schematic weapons and armor. We need a lot more. And most definitely, red rarity we need master tier blueprints for master tier armors and weapons that is a fact i don't know what weapons they're gonna add but blueprints have been dead since i would say the bar since around the bar no one needs any blueprint weapon you might have one but you don't need it and you won't use it 
So yes, new blueprint weapons would do a lot for the game in terms of new things to grind for, as well as maybe new things in the market to buy. Apart from this, we need new mutants. Grab things from Stalker, the controller, for example. There are many mutants from Stalker that you can grab, and there's also many mutants that we've seen in Stalkraft that are not yet in the game. We've seen them in previous trailers or previous events, but they're not currently here. We need more variety because we basically see the same enemies from the start of the game all the way until the end. There's only two enemies per se that are different, and that would be the Chimera once you get to like Yanov and Pseudo Giants once you get to Army Warehouse around there. So they definitely need to add more enemy types. The next thing is a little bit iffy. I don't know how it would work, but cross server matchmaking for NA, Southeast Asia, and EU for dead time, session battles, and duels. I'm not going to throw Clan Wars in there yet, but session battles, EU, NA, Southeast Asia, great. Dead time, great. Duels, great. All three of the servers would benefit heavy from that. And I know people want to say, well, they're very different. Bro, listen, NA is not doing the greatest right now. Southeast Asia has been dead since forever, and EU is all right. The gear difference doesn't matter anymore. We're already getting shitted on on NA by people that do serum and got a bunch of stuff by doing the weekly shit with the serum. So they're already way ahead of us. Just add other strong players into these game modes so people can actually play. Them. The next thing is quite simple, and that is achievement point rewards. As you know, we have an achievement point score for doing multiple things in the game. All we got to do is give rewards for set achievement score and achievement point milestones. It's super, super simple. Whether it's keychains, a cool paint, things for the achievements. Kill 10,000 players so you get the red blood drop keychain that glows for your gun because you killed 10,000 players. That would be dope and it's so simple. It could be done in a matter of a week. All these little keychains. Let's say, let's say two weeks. But it's not something that's going to take you guys months and months and months to implement. And the last thing that I also think is extremely easy is a shooting range. Bro, why don't y'all have the ability to test guns before we buy them? Given that your method on obtaining endgame guns currently with Serum is dog shit, where players have to sit here and wait 3-4 weeks to craft a gun, even with Clan Wars. I know a lot of the devs want to say, well, we just added Clan Wars. Yes, and three clans participate out of an entire server. Some other people participate, but they have one win, two wins, and the big clans don't give a fuck. They're not going to be giving out wins to these small clans. They're just not. So it's not really a valid way to say, well, we introduce more serum into the game. So we need to have a way to test guns before we make them. How many people are mad that they made the PKP? How many people are mad that they made the AEK? How many people are mad that they made the FN? I don't know, but the point is, let us test our guns. It can be in every base, or it can be a little like game mode that you queue in this gun range, and then you can just select your guns, kind of like if you were in the Crow Arena, just select it and shoot. Simple as that. That's all we need when it comes to testing our guns, so we know what we're spending our serum on. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've talked a lot. I've said a lot of ideas in here. I hope you guys bared with me all the way to the end of this video. If you did, hit that like button in the comments. If you made it this far, write screw Dewa. And that's going to be it. Let me know your ideas in the comment section below. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.